So right here is the very first unboxing video we've done on this new channel. What's inside? Wait and see. Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I'm actually gonna make this a review video too, although as you can see, this is from Skinny Legs Tarantulas. I have reviewed them before, but brand new channel, new start. We might have some new faces show up here. So yes, review and unboxing. Now I know exactly what's in here. It is not a mystery box, so I know what's in here, but we'll wait till it's open before you guys find out. Now, before I get into this box, I just wanted to update you. First of all, massive thanks. At the time of recording this, we just hit over 500 subscribers on this channel, so a massive thank you there. Anyone that continues to share these videos and share this new channel will be massively appreciated. So the reason I've got this tank on the side here this was the home of our sea sailor, our tiger wandering spider, which ended up being a mature male. So I have sent him off to uh, Becky's Bugs and Grubs for a breeding project. She has an adult female and we're just gonna see how that goes and I'll let you guys know down the line. So let's adjust this camera a little bit so we can see what's going on with this box. There we are, all zoomed out. So first of all, point of review. The box came in great condition. You can't always make the condition of the box um, something to review because that tends to be down to the postal service, which in our case is Royal Mail. Now they do have their nice skinny legs tarantulas on there. They also have all the appropriate texting on there. Live animals this way up, handle with care and fragile tape. Now I can't find my knife again, so we're gonna try and open this with a stick. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is gonna, oh no, this stick is not very strong at all. Um, so I've dealt with skinny legs a few times in the past. Um, I've always been very, very pleased with their service. I actually went up, this stick is not working, bear with me. Ugh. Trusty keys. Um, I actually went up and visited them. I did a live stream on their channel, which was pretty cool. Um, I will put a link to them. I think there might already be a link to them actually in my description below. Now I have the same description that I do on my old channel, including playlists. So where you see playlists on there guys, it will like, take you back or link you back to the old channel, but that's fine because it's there for information. So, okay, we're nearly into this box. Right, so I can see on the side here, Weather's getting a little bit colder and they have provided a heat pack, which is still warm. They've also shown us what heat pack they've used so that we know that they're using a legitimate heat pack all in date um, and it's a 40 hour plus. So these guys are doing their job properly. I appreciate that. They always give you a little note here. Now, I'm not gonna show you this note because it tells you what species is in here, but it says, uh, hi Sam, thanks for your order. It's great to have you as a part of the family. Here is your order and it tells you exactly what you have ordered on here. And then it continues on with, I hope you're happy and, and a thanks. So, cool. We get our usual bits and bobs, business card. Uh, is that a sticker? I think that's a sticker, yeah. Wicked, I've got plenty of those. And even though they know I've got plenty of those, they still provide me the same service they provide anyone else. In fact, they don't even know I'm doing this video or reviewing them today. Okay, so I actually bought from these guys again a week or so ago, didn't record it. And I got the same thing in that one, which is a little pack of sweets with a Halloween wrapping. Like, how cute is that? So I'll pass that to my daughter. Thank you guys, she'll love it. Inside the box, we've got uh, nothing negative to review here. Everything's done fine. We've got our packing peanuts. In here is our tarantula. Just want to check that I haven't missed anything. Nope, that's exactly how I expected it to be. So, let's have a look and see what we have here then. Okay guys, you have to excuse the state of the table. As I said, I have just packed up and posted my Tiger Wandering Spider, so that's why there's bits and bobs everywhere. I also um, did 15 rehouses uh, last week off the camera, I'm afraid, um, and that's why it is grim. And it's actually left a mark where my scissors were here, as you can see. This has actually been there for a little while. You might have noticed it in other videos. But that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see what tarantula I picked up from Skinny Legs. Now, there was initially a killer brackies I was going to get, but some sneaky uh, 
person got there before me because I was at work. So I went for something that I rarely see, or at least rarely see at this size. So we've got, uh, the transfer is wrapped really warmly here, really snugly. We've got the layer of foil, we've got a layer of tissue, and then we have the pot. Now this is estimated at around seven centimeter tarantula, so you're not just gonna be looking at a dinky sling here, folks. And what we have, don't know how well you can read that, is the Homeoma species Peru Blue 2. Now for those of you that are unaware, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, Homeoma, I'm not sure. Um, I think these used to be Euthalus or something. Um, I always wanted the Euthala species red or Homeoma chilensis or something like that that it is now, but uh, I never see it around. But the H species Peru Blue 2 came up. Now, I've never owned this genus in my life and I'm really excited to have a look at this one. So Peru 2, these guys kind of have had a bit of confusion in the hobby. There's... Um, been some misidentification. I think there's a Thrixopelma that looks almost the same as these. Um, there's a dwarf version, which I think is Peru 1. And then there's the one that gets on the average of 5.56 um, inch leg span, which is this one here. Obviously this one's only seven centimeters, so we won't see it in full form, but I'm really, really excited to open this one and check it out. So, so far we've got full marks for skinny legs. Now, I want to get this spider out before we set up the home so we can have a look at it and see how healthy it is. Okay, so we're going to let the spider out in this one. It's got a clear lid or slightly milky lid we can put over the top. Now I can't actually find my tongs, but this is a new world terrestrial species. And although um, I've watched various videos, especially Tom Moran's video about them being very inquisitive, they're also quite a beginner species, so I'm not too afraid of um, just getting the tissue out with my hands here. There we go. Come on. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I thought actually. There it is for you guys to see. Right, if I pop this on, let's take a bit of a better look. So there it is, folks. The H species Peru Blue 2. So it is already starting to take on some of the blue coloration, especially on the femurs. I'm hoping you can pick that up just about. There we go, that's a bit better. And they also have those skeleton patterns on the legs. So we don't want this one getting out, although it is going to attempt to. So I'm gonna pop the lid just on there. We'll take another look at this beautiful spider in a second. But first things first, let's set up a home for this spider. So all my special spiders get to go in a mantis den, not for mantis range enclosure. Now so far we just have substrate and a bit of cork bark. I'm going to add a little bit of moss just to cover the back of this cork bark, more for look than anything else, and add a water dish. So this is actually dry moss, it's just for the aesthetics really, trying to make an enclosure look a little bit more wild, a little bit more real. And I always like to cover the back of hides with moss. I think it just adds character to the enclosure. You'll also find by adding moss that sometimes the spiders will dig it around and put it exactly where they want it to be, which is kind of cool. It kind of allows their character to come out too. Right, water dish. Now I'm actually going to put the water dish right on this side um, because then when we release the spider in, it's got more space to come on this side. So let's fill her up. We're gonna, that's it. We're gonna overflow it a little bit. Some of this substrate is like incredibly dry and it's been a very warm day. Although it's autumn here, it has been a warm day. So just wanna make sure it's definitely hydrated. So there we have it guys. We got two bits of cork bark to make up a hide, water dish and some moss for look. What do you think? Simple but effective enclosure. Now let's have a look at what this spider's doing. It's actually sat up on the top here. I mean, Tom was right in the fact that they're inquisitive for a terrestrial spider to be 
climbing up and checking out its surroundings rather than hiding within the tissue here. So we're going to try and get this spider from here to here now, take a look at it and we will finish off this review. Okay, we're going to hope for a simple transfer, get myself a little, well it's a cricket tub but that will be my uh, catch cup for today. I've got my soft ended stick um, and we've got the spider sat in the corner there. So we're just going to try and entice it out and hope it doesn't do a, a bolt on us. got a just move that tissue you can see it there I know the lighting isn't perfect guys but oh it is a bit flighty maybe if I use the tissue to kind of guide him back a bit that's it no we don't want you going round we want you going in that's it beautiful there you go talk about ease right Let's see if we can get some footage of this beautiful spider before we wrap up this video. There, look at that. So we've got a bit of a reddish bum. I didn't actually realize it had a bit of a reddish bum. And we've got the carapace and the legs. Again, as I said before, a little bit of that skeleton appearance. It's gone right under the lighting, so it's not picking up the way I want it. But hopefully as the spider moves, you'll be able to see some of those colors pop through Again, most of the blue is on the femurs. And in fact, actually, they're going quite the way through the leg. But look at that. Is that not a stunning tarantula right there? Just having a little explore. Oh, you saw the iridescent look on the foot there. Can you see that? And now we've got the contrast against the moss, my favorite kind of shots. Now I'm gonna try and maneuver the light a second so we can get one final best look at this tarantula. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna come into the light? Oh, do I shut the camera off to move the light? Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Smashed it, look at that. Now you've got full color glory. Look at those legs. Wow, why did I not get one of these before? Well, I'll tell you why, actually. They only had dinky slings, and this is a species that I just want to see those colours from the moment I buy it. Amazing. So we're going to give top marks to skinny legs tarantulas here, guys. I cannot fault them. This is a beautiful, healthy-looking specimen. The packing was perfect. The arrival was perfect. The note the little gestures of sweets, everything spot on. So massive thanks again to Skinny Legs Tarantulas. Check those guys out, because you'll love them. Now we don't want you coming out that way, dude. So let's close you off. There. Our H species, Blue Peru 2. Now there is one major thing I forgot to mention during this unboxing. We have a name for this spider. Yes we do, sorry I can't stop looking at him or her. Amazing. Now this spider is going to be called Adam, whether it's a girl or a boy. You see my two highest tier patrons are both called Adam. They have both seriously helped me out and supported me in ways that I cannot even express on this camera. And of course, one of my greatest YouTube friends is also called Adam. So I think it's just the most suitable name for such a special tarantula here in the realm to be named Adam. And let's hope it turns out to be a girl so it lives a lot longer and we can laugh about the fact that she will be called Adam. So I'll update you guys on Adam in the future. Again, thanks for watching. 10 out of 10 to Skinny Legs Tarantulas. Now these guys have been doing offers all this month. You've probably missed two of them already if you haven't been following Skinny Legs. Make sure to check out their Facebook page as well as their website for information on little competitions and things they're doing. So the first week, you would have missed that one. The second week, by the time this video goes out, you've probably missed it, but check the website just in case. And then we still have the rest of October and I don't know what deals are coming up, but stay 
tuned with those guys. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye bye.